Miss Patricia Kitt, how are you today? I'm doing fine. Very good. You have a message that you want to get out to the Tuskegee public. What is that message? The message is that the Father has come. When you tell most people that, they will say, how do you know? Explain why you say that. The way that I know is because he comes here and he introduces himself. And he says that he's the incapul, which means bodiless, and he's incognito, which means invisible. And another thing that he says is that he's the one supreme unlimited father, which means there's no limit to what he can do. He can make the impossible possible. And he also says that he's the benevolent and the benefactor. And benevolent represents goodness, he says meaning that he does all good and doesn't do anything bad. And he says that you know how they say he sends storms to kill people? He doesn't send storms to kill people because he did, if he did, he would be committing sin. And he says that it's nature that reacts in that way because nature sends storms and tornadoes and hurricanes and earthquakes and all that. When souls become corrupt and impure. So he says right now the whole world is corrupt and impure. And he's the purifier. He has to come and purify the world. And he says that he's, he comes here to grant salvation, which means to be saved from the varieties of sorrows and pain. And he also says that he's the one who can remove sorrow and bestow happiness. And to be remove, remove sorrow and restore happiness means to be able to have a smile on one's face. And with Amen. that smile on one's face, then automatically this is given this introduction. Now, how does your religion, if I can call it a religion, differ from my religion, the Baptist religion? Is there a difference? Okay. Um, I myself um, was in the Baptist religion before okay. I came into this religion. But what has happened is that I used to be in this religion, but several thousand years ago. In fact, 5,000 years ago. And it would be God who would know this, to tell me this, because I wouldn't know this about myself. We humans cannot comprehend anything after 5,000 years. So it's God who has to come here and tell us about this. And I was in the Baptist religion. I've come into this religion. So now I'm able to change my character and become what you call a deity. And deities are human beings with divine virtues. And the virtues are like sweetness, tolerance, patience, purity, honesty, harmony, courage, confidence, lightness, wisdom, accuracy, those type of qualities. And there are many more because God is the whole ocean of virtues. What confirms to you that you are on the right track? Okay, um, I study this knowledge and others also come and study with me. And the courses, of course, are free of charge. And one comes and study the knowledge and then put it to practice and get experiences and then one knows that this knowledge is all about attainment. We get attainment from this knowledge. And not only do we get attainment, but we also get a new life and we're able to convert that new life into a uh, premonition. So this new life that we get is like something that has happened to us that is very good and it helps one in everyday living. So. I myself am a good example of an everyday living person, an uh, everyday living soul that experiences goodness from, the God, from God. And also, um, not only do I experience goodness, but change. And not only is my cha character changed into a good character, but eventually my character will be changed into the perfect character. So do I hear you saying that significant change, peace, Honesty and correctness began with us, each one of us. 
That's right. It begins within. Because re the reason that this begins within is because we are souls. Points of light like stars. We're not the body. And as souls, we are immortal. We are eternal. We live forever. We never die. And our part is filled within, so our lives are predestined. And we come from up above, which is up above the sun, the moon, the stars, and the universe, which is where God's home is. We come from there, and we come here, and we adopt bodies, and we're all characters playing our part. And this is like one big drama, and God's like the director of the drama. What theory or source do you teach from? Okay, the source that we teach from is from the incognito, invisible God, which is the same God that everyone prays to, the same God that everyone worships, and it's the same God because there is only one God, there are not many gods, and it's just that we have a different understanding about who God is.